So for the time being, we're stuck with the two megabytes of onboard memory of the RP240. But at least I did manage to get the screens and the magnet sensor to work perfectly. Now at this point in our story, I went to watch the new Superman movie. But accidentally, I booked a 3D screening. However, thanks to that mistake, I had an epiphany. So I made a break breakthrough. You see, I recently went to watch Superman in the, in the cinema. And by chance, accidentally, we selected a 3D movie which works with these 3D classes. Now these aren't the blue and red glasses you might expect. These are polarized glasses, which work by projecting two types of light uh, onto the onto the cinema screen. One type is for the left eye, one type is for the right eye. And these polarization filters, they filter out the light. Now I'm going to show you something. The light of the screen is going through the through the first pair of glasses and it's getting polarized. Then it goes to the second pair of glasses, and because they are in the same orientation. It lets it through, but if I twist it, look at that, it just turns black. Which has huge implications for this project. All other endotropes in existence, which I know of two of them, there exist two other endotropes. Um, they just use a black box around the, the screens, which means that the final image is floating in a black box and not like a real hologram, which would be floating in in real space which you could which would be partially see-through and I think using these polarization filters we would be able to create a more realistic well more cool uh, see-through effects which I hope I uh, well the middle part will still be you no know, black bar but I'll we'll see uh, I'll have to order some polarization filters and uh, I'll be working on the 3D model of the enclosure. So uh, I'll see you when that's done.